Hello everyone. This video will cover information about interpretation of analysis results through cutline feature available in SAP 2023. This feature allows us to get the analysis results for a specific portion or area of the mat as required. As we click on the cutline option from here, we have to provide the coordinates of the two nodes, start and end points of the cut line, between which we want to draw the cut line. Alternatively, we can directly draw the line on the mat using the mouse and the program will auto identify the coordinates of the two ends of the drawn cut line. Any of these two methods can be used to draw the line. There is an option known as offset, which helps us to extend the cut line either at the start or at the end by providing the distance by which we want to extend the cut line beyond the previously selected positions. We also need to mention the number of intervals that we want on the cut line. This value is used by the program to determine the number of segments that it should subdivide the line into for calculating the force or moment at intermediate points on the line and then find the aggregate value of that result for the full extent of the line. So for example, if we want to get the result from this cut line based on 10 segments, then we mention the number of intervals equal to 10 and the program creates 11 equally spaced points including the start and end point which in turn has 10 intervals or segments between them. Once the data for the cut line information has been entered, we click on create from here to get the desired line. Now here we can see that the cut line is created and we can see the results for this cut line here. The direction of the cut line is shown over here and is considered to be aligned from the start point to the end point. The direction hence depends on the way we create the cut line. In other words, what we choose as the start node and the end node. Now, here in the cut line tab, we can see the results. The first option is to select the load combination for which we want the forces or moments. All those load combinations that we selected for the analysis criteria will be listed here. In the next option here, we have to select the type of force or moment result that we want to see. The user is advised to read the program's technical documentation for details on convention and principles governing these results. Based on that convention, MS is the moment that produces bending stresses acting along the cut line direction and MT is the moment that produces bending stresses acting perpendicular to the cut line direction. So MS is the moment along this blue arrow and MT is represented by this green arrow. Similarly, SS and the ST are the in-plane axial stresses. SQS and SQT are the out-of-plane shear stresses and so on. Now, the next option is horizontal and vertical grids. If we want to see the grids, we can keep it on, else we could switch them off. As we hover over the cut line, we can see the force or moment values for those items we selected for viewing. For example, if we choose MS, MT, SQS, SQT, etc., then in this tooltip box, by placing the mouse over any given intermediate point, we can see the values computed for that point. 
the next option here allows us to see the forces on the cut line drawn in a line type pattern or with a smooth curve the line option joins the values at each of the intervals using straight lines but if we select the curve option a smooth curve is drawn joining the values at each intermediate node the last option here allows us to save the graph of the cut line in the png format this image can be further used in any report as desired so that was all about seeing the analysis results using the cut line option thank you for watching